people, welcome back to another episode of Busy Beater. If you don't know me already, my name is Caitlin, and today I thought that it would be really fun to kind of give you a little behind the scenes. So kind of show you my process of picking projects for us to do together, and then how I order those products, and then what it's like to get those products. So the main portion of this video is actually going to be a bead haul kind of unboxing situation. But first, I kind of wanted to show you what it's like for me on this end and how I put together all of our projects and things. But before we jump into all of that, please be sure to check out my sponsor, Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. They're the one who make all of our crafting fun possible. They're my supplier and they can be your supplier too. So check out their link in the description box below and go get some goodies of your own and follow along in these super cool crafts with me. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can hang out with me all the time. Let's jump in. So the very first thing that I have to do before making anything, whether I make that on this channel here with you all or just make things for myself, is I have to find inspiration. So I am a big lover of Pinterest. I will scroll through Pinterest and find super fun projects, but I also like going out into town. Um, I'll go to little shops, bookstores, things like that. So I like to go around and kind of collect inspiration, be like, oh, this necklace is really cool, or this idea would be really fun if I did it this way. Or when I'm watching movies or TV shows, things like that, and you see characters wearing jewelry, sometimes I'll look at those and I'll be like, that is so cool, I love that. I want that have to figure out how to make it and so I go and I try and recreate a lot of stuff and another way that I get inspiration is just by scrolling my sponsor's website they have so many beads and gems and all kinds of goodies that sometimes I'll just type in something that I'm interested in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a lot of celestial style designs so I'll just throw like the word moon into a search on the website and then scroll through their beads and I'll be like oh my gosh this pendant would look so cool if I paired it with this and so yeah those are just kind of all the different ways that I gather inspiration you know friends media social media stores um, my sponsor all kinds of different sources from my life and I'll kind of gather all of those together and pick what I want to make then once I kind of have my little list of all my pictures and things I will kind of dissect the piece of jewelry that I'm wanting to make and I'll be like okay so this piece of jewelry I'm gonna need earring loops and I'm gonna need a pendant that looks like a moon and I'm gonna need this component here and then I'll go onto my sponsor's website and I'll search for those things and I put my order form all together and they then get send me packages of all of my goodies and that's what we're gonna be unboxing here so the next part of this that I want to show you is what it looks like to receive a package from them I know that I did an unboxing video a little while ago that was a bigger box and we got to have fun with the boss bead bags this is a more targeted unboxing you know I chose each of the things that are in this package because I'm wanting to make them here in the next couple of weeks with you all um so you're kind of getting a little bit of both the surprise element of the unboxing with the boss bead bags before and then this element where this is all very curated items and we get to open them together and get to see what they're like and then when you tune in over the next couple of weeks you'll get to see me make things with those items which will just be super fun so let's jump into unboxing today so here is the mop package from Fire Mountain. And let's see what's inside. So these are all the goodies that I ordered for the next couple months of videos. I thought it would be cool for you all to see kind of what uh, looks like when I get stuff from Fire Mountain. So every single order comes with a cool catalog fun things for you to browse and see. The pack to the love that comes in every box, whether you just order a couple of things or you order a whole bunch, which I just love. That one's super cool. All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna start with whatever this, is. we're gonna start with these. Okay, so I have stuff for, I think four projects in this batch. These are some crystals to go on some, I'm gonna do two versions of celestial earrings. Um, and that's crystals for one version. Very shiny and pretty. All of the crystal passions just have this beautiful, like you just move them around. Ooh, rainbows everywhere. <laughs> and then these 
earring loops are super fun. They come like pre-decorated here, which I think is really cool. And we have this locket and I am going to use this to recreate a necklace in a movie. If you recognize what movie I'm recreating from, it's one that just came out. It's been pretty popular, but I am super excited to make this project with you all. Let's see what else we've got. So here are some more crystals. These are like the blue ones. So these are gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make sun and moon earrings and you're gonna be able to mix and match what you wanna wear. Aren't these so much fun? These are little mushrooms. I thought they would be super fun for fall. We're gonna make some pretty cool keychains with those. Here is a chain and that is gonna go with our project with the locket here. And we've got some little moons. Aren't those just darling? And then they have little moons and stars on them. And then we've got our little sun here. Isn't that cute? That's what's going to be the kind of matching set to the moons. And then we have our earrings. So I'm going to put all of the moons and the blues with the silvers. And then I'm gonna put all of the sun and the orange crystals with the gold. And then you're gonna be able to kind of mix and match. You could wear two suns, you could wear two moons, or the idea that I had was that you wear a sun and a moon on each ear. So I think that that's gonna be super fun. And I've got some chain here, some pretty nice silver chain. Um, I think I was just restocking my supply. I don't remember what project this is supposed to go with. I think I'm just getting a little low on chain. So I grabbed that, which that is pretty cool. And then these, I am so excited about. These are gonna go with the fun earring backs. These have suns on one side and then they have moons on the other. And so I thought that they would make some really cool celestial earrings too. So yeah, that is kind of our quick little bead haul here. So there you go. You got to kind of go on that journey with me today. Kind of got to see my process from start to finish. We talked about all the different places that I find inspiration for my pieces, which are all places that you can find inspiration for pieces in your life. And then you can take the techniques that I teach you and kind of apply those to your own pieces of jewelry. And you know how I search on the website and get my package and then what the package looks like and all of the goodies inside of it. And uh, when you tune in over the next couple of weeks, you're going to get to see my uh, videos that I get to uh, use to make all of these super awesome pieces with you that we got to see the components for today, which is super fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to check out my sponsor, Fire Mountain Gems and Beads website for them and website for me is in the description box below. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one.